Hello and welcome everyone. Now in this video we are going to learn uh, how can we draw isometric view from uh, two views that are given to us. So uh, we are provided with front view which is the upper diagram in this image and the top view and we need to draw the isometric view of this particular object. Now uh, without further delay we are going to start with drawing this. So the first thing that we need to understand this uh, for drawing this is that we need to know the uh, maximum boundaries. So basically the maximum height of this diagram is 50 units, maximum width is 80 units and maximum side, width of the side is or thickness is 50 mm. Now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to define these maximum boundaries and we are going to draw the image later on. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to convert basically turn on the isoplane mode. We are not able to see the grid, so for that, turn on the grid and then we will be starting with a different view, this one. So, switch to isoplane right and let's draw the boundaries. Now, for drawing boundary, I'm going to use a blue color and a thickness as. 0 so 0 comma 0 now this boundary it should be 80 units and height this one should be 50 units after that in this side again 80 and then we need to join with the view now in order to switch the isoplane we are going to use uh, f5 button so now we are on isoplane left now for side view this one should be 50 then height should be again 50 and then we need to join with this particular corner. So we are done with this. After that we are going to switch to isoplane top. Now repeat line start from this particular corner. Now in this side it should be 80 units and in this side this one should be 50 units. So these are the boundaries in which we need to limit our isometric drawing. Okay. So let's take a look at this image. So, 30, then 80 in this side, after that 30 and uh, at the center we need to draw 20 units. So, total 80 is there, 80 minus 20 minus 10 minus 10, we are left with 40 units. So, this particular dimension, it should be 20 units, okay. And this one should also be 20 units. So, let's move to this one. Now, right now, uh, what we are going to do is, we are going to select line. And we are going to increase, uh, change the color by layer and increase the line weight so that the drawing is properly visible to us. So, select line, enter, then specify the starting point. After that, okay, line weight is not being displayed. So, click on line weight, display line weight, click OK. Okay, repeat line command. So, recent input line. Start from this particular point and go till 80 units. Then this one should be 30 units and leave it here. Okay. Now repeat the same. Okay. Uh, basically, ideally you should uh, switch to isoplane right because of uh, because there is no curve here, so that's why we were uh, not facing any kind of problem. Okay. So repeat the same line command. Start from this particular point. Go till 30 units from here. Okay. Then go till 20 units, enter. In this side, we need to go till okay, angle that we need to select and go till 20 units. After that, join with this particular point. Okay, then in this side, it should be 10, 20, 20, again 20 units. On this side should be 10 units and join with this corner and trim the non required portion that we don't need. Okay, so basically this line was double now. So front view is complete. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw the side view of this one. Now, ideally, the side view should be given to us, but in this case, it's not given. So we are going to assume some things here 30. Then join with this particular corner. After that, 
the next thing is basically we need to draw these views so press enter now before uh, moving further switch your isoplane to isoplane top start a line start from this particular corner and draw this line like this okay so 50 and then 10 units on this side join this line with this particular corner then this one will also be parallel this line will also be a 50 unit this one should be drawn vertically downward then 10 units like this and join this line with this particular corner okay after that repeat line start a line and join with this one so you just take a look this is how we can create an isometric drawing so in order to take a better look i think uh, it's visible now the next thing that we need to do is we need to work on dimensions okay so uh, go to isoplane right now start dimensioning select dimension then specify these corners now whatever dimension we don't have we will be doing it we will be getting it don't worry now select this after that select this then we need this side starting from this to this point okay what else this side is needed then this particular side is needed now some of these dimensions we uh, can see that they are not in proper alignment okay so how can we change that so first of all just get out of this dimension command select all the similar dimensions then select whatever are left right click select similar okay all of the dimensions are selected right click and go to properties okay after that what we need to do is uh, arrow and everything else is okay just we need to reduce the line weight okay so reduce line weight to 0, 0.00 and your dimensions they will be a lot better then change their color a little bit so instead of by layer select a different color now all of the dimensions they are looking quite okay but we need to make them oblique we need to change their angle so that they are in proper alignment so go to annotate tab and in dimensions you will find this option which says oblique so click on oblique and then you can enter the angle or you can specify angle like this okay now now you will see that these dimensions they are not in proper alignment so what you are going to do is you are going to use uh, dim enter and then select a line from here align then select base dimension and then oh, sorry uh, select base dimension we need to align 30 and uh, the second one so align base dimension and then second dimension press enter okay so this is how you can select align command okay later on what we need to do is we are we are uh, going to change the okay, get out of this command cancel right click okay escape then we need to change the obliquing angle of these dimension again click on oblique then specify the obliquing angle like this one so this is also okay right click then change the angle so make them oblique start from this one specify this angle this dimension is remaining so you can make it oblique as well click on oblique select this angle and then done so this is how we can create an isometric drawing using the uh, using the orthographic projections okay so go to this click on move specify base point and switch it here that's just key so turn off the isoplane so that's all for this video i hope you guys have learned something new Thank you very much and have a nice day.